Let's homebrew. Coming at you with a beer review. With Laramo 22. Woohoo! So for those of you that don't know who Larry is, Laramo 22, he's That's quite, bullshit is what it is. Yeah, he's quite a fabulous <laughs> brewer. He really is. And I've had some stellar beers that he has sent my way. So yesterday, Larry and I had fun. We went out to a brewery in North Portland that I've been wanting to get to. It's called Great Notions Brewing. And we brought back a little can. <laughs> yeah. Just a little one. It's a share. Yeah. So they, well, they said I had to share. So anyway, but basically, uh, they, you tell them what one you want, and they can it right on the spot for you, which is pretty freaking cool. So here it is. It is plump. It's an American style IPA. This one is actually at 6.7% ABV and 60 IBUs. They make some interesting beers. Great food, don't you think? Great food. Oh. So if you're in the Portland area, you got to get out to Great Notion. But we're going to get this one cracked open and give it a try. I've never had a crowler before. <laughs> Neither have I. Cheers, so, guys. So we're going to get the nose. This is a beautiful orange color, wouldn't you say? Hazy, oh, yeah. but it's a, yeah, a golden hazy. orange. Oh, man. And we can smell it already. Yeah. So we're going to go right for the nose. Oh, this is like, I'm getting like a juicy orange on here. Almost like a pithy orange to me. There's some good citrus, but I get some nice orange. Uh, and I get a little bit of a, a nice sweetness, but it's almost like a biscuit malt is what I'm picking up. What do you, what do you guys got on this? Well, like I always say, I'm not the best reviewer, but you're right with the, the orange and citrusy. I'm not, I'm not getting the biscuit, but I've got more... I've got more head here. You, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what have you got, Christian? No arguments there. Uh, obviously, we got the orange in here. You get a slight pine uh, scent out of it, yeah, but yeah. not too much. You definitely get sweet aromas, citrus. It's going to be like mm -hmm. a full orange, like biting into like a juicy orange, maybe a little bit of rind in there. Yeah, I think you're right. There's just this really mild uh, resin type of aroma on it but and did they have another beer called juice juice Is box <laughs> which was out and I want to try that one I've heard great things but I say we're gonna jump in so cheers oh, yes, gentlemen cheers. we're gonna go for this to this to being thirsty Ooh, these the the beers they have there are really bright flavors and this is not disappointing at all. The first thing that came to mind when I tr drank this was Orange Julius. It, it reminded me of a kid being in Southern California on Newport Beach, Balboa Beach, and getting an Orange Julius. Yeah, I was totally getting that. I was uh, more going like, it hit me, it's refreshing. You get like a tangerine kind of taste to it. Yeah. Where it just kind of pops out, but it's totally an IPA. Like you got your resin in there and you got like your, just a little bit of hop. Kick yeah, it's it. not, it's not over bittering. It's, it's nice, juicy. It's, it's, it's another, another name. Juice, plump. Yeah, this is really good. <laughs> and, and it, I don't perceive it at 6% myself, first of all. It feels like it's lighter beer. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. think it's almost, a light mouthfeel for me actually um but i think christian nailed it with the tangerine like tangerine and tangelo type flavors as i'm tasting it a little more of the bitterness which is more of a rind kind of flavor or i want to call it more like orange peel mm -hmm. uh is is coming in no wait i said that wrong orange zest so when you zest an orange i get a little bit of that orange zest coming on is the correct description for me anyway and yeah, you get that little right at the right at the back end you've got the it's like a little tingling on the tongue mm -hmm. it's really that, that the zest is doing that yeah wow this is fabulous we're going to take a moment and we'll come back with some numbers well i think we're all thoroughly enjoying it it's, it's super refreshing it really is like that tangelo taste the little tingling that uh, larry described you know that orange zest is there so it's just a mild bitterness for me i'm loving it it's time for us though to come up with some ratings so chris and i are going to start off with doing these style ratings so what do you think in terms of style 
Well, just for uh, American IPA, it's going to be up there. It's not like it's like crazy, like out there flavors good. It's just straightforward delicious. I'm going to give it a, a 90 because I think it's just a high end of like a good beer that you're just going to enjoy every day. And I'm actually going to go a little bit higher. Um, th the thing that's interesting is this isn't like layers of flavor. You're not getting like, I've got my tropical going on. I've got the various citrus and stuff. It is a little more straightforward with what flavors are in it. But the flavors that are there are just fantastic. I'm going 92 for American IPA. Larry's so, going to do his own rating. So here. my rating is uh, untapped rating because this is what I'm going to actually put into my phone. And uh, I'm Larry 22 on uh, untapped <laughs> if you want to look me up. And uh, it is, I'm going to give it a, well, it's hard for me for IPA. It's got to be like really stand out. I'm going to give it a 4.25. Uh, the... But this is an easy drinker. I could be, I could probably drink this pretty much all night long. It'd be a steady, steady beer. So, yeah. So overall, uh, I'll, I'll jump in right away. And God, I'm still, I really am liking this a lot. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop down just a hair, I think, overall, and just a hair. I like it a lot. I'm going 91. That that first impression of Orange Julius just hooked me in. Uh, yeah, I'm going to sit right where I am, 90. I think it's like, overall, it's going to be a beer that I could go to. I mean, it's a crowler, so I get 32 ounces of deliciousness. <laughs> and uh, that could keep my night going for sure. Share all, it with friends. All I know is I'm going back because the food was good. <laughs> we we had between, I think, tried, what, seven different beers Seven different least. beers. But here it is. It is rump. Don't ask me why they called it Rump. Has nothing to do with mine, but it's a good beer. <laughs> Unless you be farting deliciousness. Well, there you go, and we might later. So this is Kevin. And this is Christian. This is Larry 22. Saying life's too short to drink cheap beer. And we'll see you on the next beer review. Cheers. 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 <laughs>